Hello and welcome to the Goddess Activation free introductory class. I'm Adrienne Elise and thank you so much for joining me. I'm super excited about this class and this work on the planet right now at this time. I started doing this work um, quite a few years ago when I was in psychic training, working on the female energy system. And the that work affected me dramatically, like completely changed my life. And when I started teaching about five years ago, those were the first classes that I started to teach was working with this female creative energy. So when I say goddess activation, that's what the same energy, the goddess energy is this female creative energy or just creative energy. This class isn't just for women because we all have access to the male and female within in a female body it's a little bit more directly accessible which also means it's more directly blocked so we're what is this female creative energy go ahead and just take a minute and let's just sink into this uh, female creative energy just imagine let your body ask itself what this means and go ahead and pay attention to the area of your reproductive organs in the whole pelvic region of your body. And just get start to get a sense of what female creative energy might be about. These organs have the ability to create babies, to make a whole nother human. They have the ability, it's the same energy that is used to create worlds. It's actually a type of electricity that's available in the universe. And this energy is here in our body at all times, but it's just about whether or not we know about it, first of all, and whether or not then we have access or permission in our being. So a big part of the goddess activation is looking very systematically through our field at anything that might be in the way, blockages, belief systems, energies that might be keeping us from feeling like we have permission to access this energy. So you can kind of feel it bubbling up just by inviting it into your life. And the, the way this class is designed, it's an eight class series, an eight pillar class series. Now, what we're doing with these eight pillars is building a temple, basically looking to create in our energetic field a place for the goddess energy to come home into our life. And so what is this goddess energy, this female creative energy? Well, it's a potent miracle energy that most of us have been programmed and through the societal and family and uh, belief systems and programming tell us that this miracle energy that's in the female creative organs as well as in the male creative organs, but more accessible in the female creative organs is just only for making another being and that you can only access it that for that. So um, this class is designed to go through systematically these eight pillars associated with the chakras of the body and looking for all the places where we can clear, heal, and invite the goddess energy into our life, basically building a temple, an eight pillar temple for the goddess to return. So let's go ahead and just tap into this idea. What does a goddess temple look like to you? Go ahead and close your eyes and let that kind of vibrational energy of the female uh, energy in our body start to activate and move. And go ahead and imagine approaching this goddess temple. And just let yourself imagine what does it look like as you head down the pathway or the road to this temple. This is a living, breathing, energetic temple that we're going to build in an eight class series to host the goddess energy in your life, to have full permission to access this female creative energy that's juicy and healing and joyful and creative and inspiring for other people. So go ahead and step into this temple this temple of your imagination, let your visions take you as you move into this temple. And what, what is the door like? What's the entrance like to this temple? 
just let yourself imagine and be in this divine feminine creative space. What we're doing here, when we create room in our lives for this goddess energy, for the divine feminine creative energy, it's bringing a juiciness and a wholeness to our lives. And so feel into this energy, this temple, and what do you see around you? What does your temple look like? Feel this creative female energy, this sanctuary. This is the very first step in the goddess activation is to begin to invite the goddess into our lives by creating a space. So this space can be a physical space in your home or it can be an energetic space in your field or both. But just move into this beautiful temple in your imagination and just soak up the energy of the divine feminine. What does it look like in this image of this temple that you've arrived at to host the divine feminine? What does it feel like? What is the aesthetics of the room? What's the room made out of? What is inside the room? What colors? What else do you find in there? Perhaps some wise women holding down the wisdom of the ancient divine feminine. So when we access this divine feminine creative energy, we can also begin to move this energy in all areas of our life. And so this is the eight pillar system. This is a chakra activation system according to the goddess, inviting in the divine feminine and activating each chakra in harmony with that vibrational frequency. And so each chakra is a pillar in this system, in this temple that you're building in your energetic field. Just get a really beautiful feeling. And what kind of words come to mind when you immerse yourself in the divine feminine? What colors, shapes, or pictures, or phrases come to mind as you explore the mysteries of the divine feminine? The feminine is nurturing. The feminine is creative. The feminine is healing. This energy, this female creative energy, is a power of the universe. It is the same energy that heals. It is the same energy that is sexual energy. Sexual energy is just amped up a lot. But this is the energy that create world, creates worlds. And so what we're doing is we're building a way to have greater access to this energy in our lives. So just taking a few deep breaths and feel yourself inside this beautiful temple. The goddess energy is strong but yielding, compassionate, empathic, healing, forgiving. What words come to mind when you think of the feminine? Because a lot of what this class is about is redefining the feminine. We might think of the feminine as weak and didn't really understand when actually the feminine is very, very strong. So the thing also about coming into female creative energy is understanding that we have both male energy and female creative energy in our field. And so in order to host the goddess, we must build a, a container. Now, this is the role of the male energy. And so if we can have the boundaries we need, to be able to create this container for the goddess so we can be in our juicy wholeness, in this life that we dream of, in this fully activated existence. So as we move along in this class, we're gonna be looking at the issues of each chakra and then in the eighth class, looking at the eighth chakra, the creative rings and hooking back into all the chakras, creating the figure eight, a chakra integration according to the goddess. And so we're also going to be using the goddess archetypes, stories and um, essences of these goddesses throughout time that carry the divine mystery. Now, the thing about the archetypes of the goddesses, they all represent one facet 
of the goddess. The thing about the divine feminine is she's changeable and she's chaotic, but she has some very clear archetypes. And for a woman to be whole and have a whole existence and be a goddess in her own right in this life, in this world, she needs to be able to understand and embody these different facets of the goddess. And these different facets of the goddess correspond again to the chakras of the body. So this is a really great opportunity to use, get in touch with these goddess archetypes and receive an activation from the ancient feminine wisdom. And so as we're feeling into this energy, just imagine the eggs that we all carry within us, that when your mom was born, she already had the egg that may be you. And there's hundreds of thousands of eggs now, we're not going to have that many children in our life. So what is this energy here for? And go ahead and just imagine you're tapping into this energy and get a feel for this female creative energy. This is like a fire. This is a warmth. This is a waking up. So imagine it, your ovaries. And if you don't have your physical organ ovaries, there's still energetic ovaries there. So go ahead and just imagine these ovaries ripe with all of these, this potential these seeds and potential and just imagine that they're warming to this energy and you're coming into communication maybe for the first time in your life with these magical organs that we have been kept separate from as some sort of mechanical device so say hello to your ovaries each ovary one and then the other and to your uterus and the fallopian tubes all of the parts the vagina and the cervix, all of the parts of the female organs. And if you're in a male body, you'd be focusing on the testes and the sperm and feeling this creation energy. Now, when we start to feel into this creation energy, we can immediately come into a lot of times some energy or some reaction in our body. So just paying attention to the rest of your body, just doing a little experiment here. And where do you feel either chronic pain or tension or right now in this moment, a sensation? So go ahead and follow that sensation in your body. And um, this sensation in your body has to do with the blocks and belief systems and programming that are keeping you from first recognizing this creative energy and second implementing and inviting it and bringing it into your life. Do you feel safe with this energy? Is this energy okay to generate? Go ahead and find where in your body might react to that. And this is a first clue. This is a powerful opportunity for clearing in order to get you more in touch with this female creative energy. So perhaps this feeling is in your abdomen somewhere. And that might point to your third chakra, your personal power. Now it's one thing for a woman to be, have access to her female creative power. And it's another thing to have access to the personal power. But can you bring those together? That's a lot of power. Do you have permission for that in your space? Now, maybe you would feel something around your throat. This could be a time when you were killed here in a pain picture for expressing your female creativity. Uh, maybe you feel a sensation in your head and the um, association with intuitive knowing and feeling that opening up to your intuitive knowing might be somehow dangerous or something to, to be mindful of. And so all of these places in our body are speaking to the different chakras and the the energy centers of the body. And these all have a different set of issues that can be associated with that area of the body. And so by going through this pillar system one by one, we can get all of the clearings that we need to fully access this juicy creative energy into our life. So go ahead and ask for, just go ahead and receive an energy wave for healing. And what I'm seeing is a beautiful purple light that's like the gamma rays that come out from the center of the universe. And just feel this beautiful purple light just wash over your whole being and wash and soothe away whatever got inflamed or was speaking to you in your physical body. Whatever pain picture or sensation that was saying, oh yeah, this energy is powerful. Is it okay for me to have in my life? Maybe everybody else could have it, but is it okay for me? So when we're working with the archetypes of the divine feminine, we're working with deep belief systems around the feminine and what it means to be in a female body. 
a lot of us have rejected the female body on some subtle level. And so we reject these organs. We reject our creativity. We reject our juicy life and our ability to live the way we really want to live. So this class is going to offer an opportunity to work through all of these things that can come up between you and your goddess and build that temple in the energetic etheric world, uh, in, your, in your own etheric world, your own temple that the goddess can always come home to. So I want to give you a little taste of the way the class is going to run. And the first class is going to be um, uh, the root chakra. So this is the chakra that's at the base of the spine. And so I wanted to introduce you to a little bit of grounding and getting used to uh, this type of energy in your body. The root chakra is really important to ground the creative energies of the creative organs through the root chakra. And so that you can begin to feel safe generating this type of energy in your field. And so just take a few deep breaths. And the archetype of the goddess archetype we're going to work with here is Gaia. Now, who is Gaia? Gaia is Mother Earth. A lot of us know her as Mother Earth. When we're talking about Gaia, we're talking about all that lives on the Earth, not, not the planet. It's all that lives. Now, what Gaia has to show, speak to us and to tell us is that we are whole and one and in, in connected with everything. Gaia is about connectedness. And so when we can ground out this female creative energy through our root and begin to speak to Mother Earth Gaia. So go ahead and imagine a grounding cord, a connection from the base of your spine deep into the earth. And imagine that when you can you reach out to the earth, you say hello to Gaia. Guess what? Gaia is all living things. That includes you. So this is overcoming the idea that you are separated from source or oneness. The goddess energy in our life manifests in knowing this oneness, this connection, this connection to magic and a bigger picture of what's really going on here. Somebody who's embodying the goddess is somebody who helps other people feel safe in this world. So bring this goddess energy that all we riled up with the awakening of the eggs and the energy in the female creative organs or the creative organs. Just invite this energy to speak to Mother Earth. Just send it down to Mother Earth and feel that difference. Deep grounding cord, the whole lower part of your body just coming into communication, magnetic communication with Mother Earth. And just feel yourself arrive into this communication. Notice the difference in your body, in your field, when this energy is grounded. This energy is so potent, and it has an energy of feeling like, what do I do with it? How do I own this power? Is it scary to other people? Is it scary to me? But when we bring it into communication with Mother Earth, we feel that deep security of the elders, the elder women of the tribes, that held it together on the rhythms of the earth and the peace, peace of their tribes and their nations. And they did this through this connection with Mother Earth and this deep trust and knowing that they were a part of a bigger whole, opening up to the magic and the creative energy and the intuitive knowledge they needed in order to keep their tribe safe. So feel this connect, the connection through the earth to the ancient elder women throughout generations and throughout time. This knowledge that lies within the elders, the grandmothers, and feel this root system grow as you feel your whole body come into deep peace, into deep surrender, into knowing that you're held by the universe, that you are a child of Mother Earth. And go ahead and come home to this energy and feel how that sensation is dissipated in your body that we were paying attention to before. Because now you're inviting and increasing your permission to feel secure in this energy by being in communication with Mother Earth Gaia. Our main archetype, Gaia is ever renewing herself. Gaia is a beautiful teacher for us because she shows us the abundant nature of the divine feminine, that there's always more. And the competitive energies between women comes in from a male concept. 
but that doesn't belong in the feminine. And the feminine, the true goddess knows that there's plenty to go around. And the gifts that I have or she has just means there's more beauty and more light and more love in the world. And we want to empower each other as goddesses. That's one of the great benefits of this class is easing and opening relationships with other women through releasing better boundaries and releasing these stories of competition that have plagued uh, the feminine for so long. They're actually male concepts and don't really belong in this abundant nature. This abundant nature feeling that Mother Earth Gaia and just feeling that you, you've just dropped down into Mother Earth and Mother Earth is all around you. And just imagine you're in a ball of light that is Mother Earth and just breathe into that ball of light. Feel yourself more at peace, more at home and more comfortable at the same time, more activated than you ever may have allowed for yourself in this lifetime just feeling that deep root system with the earth as you breathe together with your electromagnetic field and mother earth feel the peace that's arriving in your space making room for this goddess energy and just taking a few deep breaths breathing in this energy getting a glimpse of the first pillar of this temple that we're going to build together and just think about what this temple means as one by one we learn to rebuild a temple in our field for the goddess and that we are affecting the collective by inviting the goddess little by little here into planet earth gaia awakens into her true potential so this communication with gaia is a really great basis to start and feel safe and work into growing this energy, inviting this energy and harmonizing and activating the chakras in accordance with this goddess energy. So it's just take a few deep breaths and when you're ready, as you can allow, go ahead and come out of meditation. And I would love for you to share with me in the chat anything that you've experienced. What was this like for you? What did your temple look like? What kind of words came forward and concepts when you think of the divine feminine? And I'm going to go ahead and share some words and concepts too. And together, let's redefine the feminine. Let's figure out what this really means. Because most of us have been living about a half a life or a quarter of a life of what we really want to live. And somehow inside of us, we sense that this is the key. This goddess activation is what can unlock our permission within our being for our most amazing potential and our most amazing life. Juicy, creative, uh, joyful, and enlightened, bringing this sense of peace to the people around you. So thank you so much for joining me for this goddess activation today. Um, I can feel a huge shift in permission within the group for this energy. And what a great way to start this journey together. So I hope you can join me for the goddess activation. If not this time, then next time. Um, and uh, until next time, I'm Adrienne Elise. Namaste.